Hold on. I need you to run that back. Right, run that back. Okay. What you just said about how, okay. uh, how how to get how to get an Amazon uh how to get an Amazon account. Go. Okay. So this is coming from the cigar boss. So um this is because my man lockout man is my man. So to get uh Amazon account, all it take you motherfuckers to get three box trucks. So y'all can go with a rider, a Hertz, a Penske. Mm -hmm. Go get you uh, go get you three to five box trucks. Mm -hmm. Do it. And, and and go go sign up as an Amazon LTL carrier mm. and make sure that you got your MC and your DOT number in place mm -hmm. and then go ahead and run go ahead and run those accounts and then once you prove them put you some drivers in there and then once you get through the what they call the hauling season which is from now until January 31st give or take mm -hmm. depending on when that when that volume falls off okay. then you can lock in you can lock in for a more permanent agreement but you will have helped them with this capacity overrun that they're going to have, that they're currently having now between October and Christmas. Cigar so, boss, hold, hold up. All, all I got to do as, mm -hmm. as, as a truck driver, as a company driver, as, 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 mm -hmm. as, as, as a company man, as D would say, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. I had to do is just get my, get my LLC, get my MC. Right. right. And go DLT. in. Uh, what, what you say? The other thing I got to get. DOT. My, my DOT. And all uh -huh. I got and and all I have to do in order to get an Amazon account is to rent three oh, box trucks, bro. And rent, go go get your bank account with Chase or any bank that you did with Wells Fargo, Bank of mm -hmm. America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause you know you know that's how I started out back in 2012. That's why I don't fuck with these motherfuckers when they be on here talking about pay me a thousand dollars. Three think I did that shit off the muscle in 2012 during the during the damn during the, during the recession, and I was running. Um, LTL freight and hotshot freight from Halliburton for the for the for the for Walmart for the postal service. Uh -huh. Um and and ironically, um right down the street from you in Akron. Okay. I used to run right, oh, okay. yeah, okay. right, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. All, all I gotta do is is uh, is to get it's it's uh, to get that and to get an right. Amazon because it looks like it looks like this is what all these box trudge guys is getting, it's Amazon. All, all, all uh, I gotta if you, do. If you was, if you was African, and it is a magical goddamn way to do business, bitch. Please go get you four trucks. You do amortization, meaning that you add up the total cost of what it's gonna take for you to rent them four fucking trucks. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and file and get your get your MC and your DOT. Go ahead and get your bank account. Get you set up as a, either a sole proprietorship or LLC. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be more advantageous to do the LLC because you can take the tax deductions and you can actually sign yourself as LaShawn Lockman, the manager, and put you three drivers in the truck. Go to get you some college kids, mm -hmm. same little motherfuckers that run in DoDash, mm -hmm. and go ahead and then go on and go get the local account to run the local overages that, uh, that they have right there in the Cleveland area. Somebody has to run those, and you can run those, still be on the road as a company driver, getting your good benefits and making your money, and those three or four trucks can be getting you paid residual, up until residual, when, residual, residual, pay. residual, residual income. And listen, we boys, I didn't one quarter for that. See, that's what real friends do for real friends. Mm. And if the, and if real talk, if they give you any bullshit, you can run the shit under my company. You can run it under 90 lanes trucking, and, and, and we'll work the money out. Man, that's the other part I'll go. That's the listen, other part I'll go tell you. Listen, no, no. man, that's listen. what I've been waiting on. That's what I've been waiting on you to get well. I've been waiting, waiting for you since since you listen. got hacked. You know, all, all, all I got, all, all the who, who's the best, who's the best uh uh company out here to rent trucks from? And what what do you Pro think? Probably, probably Ryder. Ryder probably has the best logistical system, mm -hmm. followed by Penske. That's because that's why you see so many of them on the road. See, Ryder has a corporate lease, so does Penske, where you can actually build your company within that company and structure. Um, you can structure your trucks within that company, and they'll structure a company lease program for you. But you want to start out because you're coming out the mud. You want to come out and just see the revenue. If you're just trying to see money and see how money coming, then you go ahead and rent you some trucks. Because it ain't with 90 days. Go ahead and run the little Christmas contract. Get the paper jumping. 
Mm-hmm. Put your three drivers in there. Mm-hmm. Keep your job. Keep your job because you don't got a good job. Mm-hmm. Keep your job. Let them let them run. See how that money flow. Then after January, you revisit the progress, and then we can have we have a whole quarter because you evaluate business based on the quarter, four quarters in a year. Every three months, you evaluate the quarter. See how that quarter revenue turn. Then you say, okay, now I'm gonna go out and buy some, and maybe maybe buy two and lease one, or lease two and buy one. But then, man, look here, C- I ain't charge you dime for that. You know C- how I go. Cigar boss, that's that that that's. That's, that's some real shit right there, bro. That that's some that's some real game right there, bro. So let me ask you this before we get on up out of here, man. Is is this what the is this what the non CDL holders are doing when they call themselves coming into this into this business over here talking about yo? I don't have my CDLs, but I got a trucking company. This is what they're doing. They're 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 yeah. renting the yeah. trucks and. And 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 doing it like that. Yeah, some of them, mm. some of them, some of them got some of them got the shit written on on the side of the truck on crayon with a goddamn poster board like we used to do when we did book reports. They got mm. duct tape and crayon and shit, mm. and because that's all it take. Mm. But see, you got these hustlers that's hustling Facebook and Instagram. That's why I don't fuck with them. They won't. They know not to call me. They will not call me. Or DSX because they know we'll blow that shit up like it because you 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 selling people some bullshit. Mm. I just gave that to you because you my boy. It ain't cost me nothing to give it to you. And I've been doing this shit for eight years and they never told you not one interview when you asked me in December not one fucking time that I bring that shit up that I've been doing LTL. You know why? Mm. Because it wasn't it wasn't part of the discussion. Mm. Of what you and I were talking about that was prevalent at the time. See, a bunch of these motherfuckers wants to brag about the shit that they doing, but they can't, they don't, what the fuck they need to understand is you be quiet about multiple streams of income. I mean, you see how I live, you see how I live. I don't have to tell you I have multiple streams. You know I do. I mean, me and you, you know I do. Right. I'm sitting here talking to you, I'm sitting here talking to you at what time? 322 in my garage? Mm. I ain't got to tell you I'm sitting in. In the in you know what I'm sitting in. I ain't sitting in the maximum. Right, there you go. There you go. Okay, I'm saying? So what's understood need not be explained. Exactly. And have I have I never not taken your phone call if I wasn't in a meeting? Exactly. No, you you always taking the phone call and I always appreciate you coming on and and spitting some real game out here because like I said, man, you know, people out here saying that they can get these that, you know, they over here saying that they, they you know, over here saying learn how to get these contracts out here. But from what I'm seeing, I, it, it, it looks like anybody can do that. So, hey, look bro, here. Amazon, I'm, I'm, you know, you come Amazon on. Amazon has Amazon has a capacity issue. Mm-hmm. So does FedEx. Mm-hmm. So does the U.S. COS Postal Service. Mm-hmm. Um, and what what we have right now, we don't have enough trucks in either the big truck category, or the OTR, box trucks, or, or the box trucks, i.e., the less than truckload. So what the fuck you not doing? Just because you discovered it, don't make like like I tell people. Me and Rick Ross got the same glasses. You can put a cigar in the side of it. You've been following me for a while. I done had the motherfucker since 2019. He just got his a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. That don't make that don't mean that he that what I was my point is just because he discovered it don't mean motherfuckers ain't have it beforehand and my shit is inscribed. Mm. So when I hear these when I hear these post 2015 truckers or well no these post 2015 non CDL holding investors that want to call themselves truck entrepreneurs bitch you rolled down the road and looked up on the side of the goddamn truck and said hmm that's a good idea let me make a phone call but here's what if here's where you start capping. Let me teach you. I don't need you Whoa. to teach me to read, read <laughs> what? a goddamn phone. <laughs> oh, no. You said all they did was ride up on the side of a semi. I saw the phone number. And then Jeez. instead of that, Jeez. instead of telling, they over here, let me teach you. What's up, teach man? You. <laughs> bitch, you gonna what? Bitch, you gonna tell me to look at a motherfucking sign boy? I tell you what. Why don't we? If you want me to, you want to teach me something? Why don't you teach me the new law that just came out two weeks ago regarding when a dual set of headphones like a BXK four fifty? Eh? Some motherfuckers don't know that. Uh, how about what is the fine if you get caught without a Bluetooth outside of being the trucking owner in and of itself is that a duality fine meaning that it goes to both the driver and the carrier and if it is what what is it and on top of that what is the new minimum fine for being out of time i.e running out the motherfucking logbook see if you want to teach something let's talk 
Let's talk safety. Let's talk facts. It's on my video. This is my partner, Lockout Man. I ain't That's... once said shit about the Cigar Boss Academy, but I'm going to let him do that. But if you really want to learn something, he'll tell you where to fucking go to learn, and it's already up there. And I ain't got to charge you to look, teach you to look up on the goddamn board to read a sign that says, oh, we we looking for drivers at 888-832-CALL now. And then you're going to make a video talking about teach? That ain't teach worthy. Teach me, motherfucker, how to load the truck when the tandem, when the goddamn truck is over 12-2. Show me how to make the motherfucker level eight by sliding the goddamn tandems back and adjusting the fifth wheel in the big truck. And then when you got when you got too much weight in the head of the truck, in, in a box truck, show me how to stair stack that motherfucker in an eye with a goddamn weight stabilizing, whether you use a strap or a low bar. Class over, bing, bing. Master Cigar boss, out!